Welcome back. We're above ground. We're not down there anymore. <laughs> I decided I wanted to come back and check out this castle and see what's up. That was the original plan before I discovered there's a whole shebang, a whole new world underground. <laughs> um, but we can't proceed any further in this area because we clearly ran out of uh, stone sword keys. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, we're going to go up to the castle but first I saw this ghost over here so I want to see what's up Lord Kenneth the night bedeviled by blood Interesting. He's looking up here. Hmm. This is like a goblin's castle. Or maybe the goblins are attacking the castle. One of the one of the two. Yo, yeah, it looks like the <laughs> looks like the castle is being attacked by goblins. And looks like the castle has an arbalist, so I'm gonna go find another way around. Cause I'm not trying to get shot. Whoa, what is that over there? Oh. That place. <laughs> Fucking Kaled. Terrible place, guys, though. Don't go there. It's, it's awful. No, nah, I'm kidding. You, you have to go there, but man, don't go there, like at least level twenty something. I got transported there when I was like, I don't know I, what level was I in that episode. I can't remember. I wasn't high level enough, though. I do know that. Hey, chill, bro. Oh, shit. Let me get as close to this wall as I can, because I'm not trying to get shot. It ain't going down like that for me. Luckily, the goblins are there to take the hits. So, I'm gonna go around the castle. I know this is an odd approach, you know, but sometimes we gotta think outside the box here, you know? I mean, you never know what's on the back side of the castle. Never, you just, you never know. See, see, there's something back here. See, see, would have never saw that. That's a mad pumpkin head. And there's a golden seed. Uh, let's summon this guy. Let's see what this guy can do, actually. We're gonna go ahead and summon him. Go and see, baby. Mr. Mad Pumpkinhead, how are you? Okay, that, uh, 
that was actually hmm yo hey, this man going about to go in yeah. he, he's doing a little less damage than I thought he would a rat really so they send after me Is this the best you have to offer? Men of the grafted Lord Godric. Fort Height. That's the name of this place. Damn. Blood Rose. I got that oh shit, bro. That's not cool. It's typical medieval castle defense, like throwing fucking pots of fire. It's like, yeah. Let's go upstairs and get this guy. He's a uh, he's being a nuisance. Being quite the nuisance, aren't ye? Chill out. Ooh, scraped me. Next. Oh, what the fuck? Got you. Ah. Kono power. <laughs> Bloody slash. I like that. That's a cool move. What's in this tower? I cannot see. Oh, I see now. A ladder. Up we go. Yo, the spirit is putting in work. Look at this man. He putting in that work. Man is built like a tree. Look how small his head is, but his body thing is stout. Dip this medallion left, so there's a right medallion as well. So we got a couple items um, to read, I would say. Ashen remains in the witches. Okay. A spirit of the horn folk who issue letters in metalworking. Uh, brawn and versed in distinctive spiritual arts, this particular tribesman wields a heavy bow. Okay. Um, sanctuary stones. I don't think any of these uh, items here really talk about lore. The roots of the great tree were once linked to those of the Erd tree, or so they say. Okay. Yeah. These don't really talk about... These items don't particularly talk about lore. Golden centipede, kept as a fetish by golden order fundamentalists, especially th the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found in churches and similar. Okay. Cool beans. Got a golden seed, we got grave, glove warts, uh, we got smithing stones of various degrees. Uh, hmm. I kind of wonder if you can put a bunch of smithing stone ones together to make a smithing stone two and so on, but I don't know if that's actually a thing. Iron wet blade. I think I read that already. Here's the half medallion. Okay. Left half of a split medallion depicting the Erd tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves will activate the grand lift of Dictus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Lyurnia. The right half is said to reside in Fort Ferreth in the Dragon Barrow far to the east. The Dragon Barrow far to the east. 
here. It's like uh, that's about as far east as you can get. Okay. That's how Kaled it is. Either way, we still need to figure out who the boss of this fort is and finish things off. Oh, that rat's still alive. The jumping attacks in this game are weird. They're just not the same as the old games. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. Wait, you kidding me? There's no boss here? No boss? No nothing? It's just a fort filled with a bunch of like scrubs. That is sad. I am now disappointed. Where do we go next then? We got that. North it is, I guess. Uh. Okay. You know what? We're going north. I thought I had a game plan this episode. I thought there was going to be more to that castle, but apparently there is not. <whistles> to the north we go then. Damn. Thought the horse had hops. They said nope. Damn. Nope. Damn. <laughs> oh, okay. I can go this way. There we go. North we go. That bridge is still connected, huh? Ah, that's neat. What's going on over here? Hey, 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 hey hold up. I think I'll be having this right here. Ain't gonna be doing this around these parts. That's what you get. Very, uh, very susceptible to bleed damage. Matter of fact, I think every freaking. Just about every enemy in this game that I've faced so far, like, massively suffers from bleeding. I mean, I mean, that's normal and all. Let's go this way, actually. I don't think the, unless the horse can't jump that high, so. Yeah, no, horse can't jump that high, so we're going up. Up, 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 and away. I be up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. Cause they gonna judge me anyway. So, whatever. Lost Grace discovered. 
We fighting on the bridge, baby. Confrontation. Oh, that hit me. Damn, dude. I don't know what you did. That's not how you fight me. But we're here trying. But I think this is. This ain't no anime. I'm gonna be headbutting me. I got a sword. Thoughts. You thought Limgrave. We're back at the top of Limgrave now. This is a graveyard. It's probably gonna pop up with some skeletons that I can't fight because I do not have an item that can kill the undead. Actually, let's try it. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Yep, yep, like I thought. Can't kill the undead. I can try to kill the undead, but it ain't happening, chief. Look at Kaled all scarlet looking. Like this is the next stop on our pathway here. This man on a boat. Where? Let's go ahead and rest up. I'm on a boat. I don't have enough flask. Let's see what's up. Increase amount replenished by flask. Do I have any sacred tears? No. At charge? Need two golden seeds, so no. Actually, what we can do is sort the chest. Um, I definitely have more items than I need necessarily, so. Uh, what can we put back? I don't. Yeah, let's go here. Roger's rapier is already plus eight, so and I don't like that one. So we're gonna store that. We're also gonna store that because I'm never gonna use a hammer. Is it called the? Uh, I'll probably store that as well. I have a reduvia if I really want to use a dagger. Slash pierce claw. Um, I'll keep that as well. And then next up, you know, I never read what this bow's description was. Crepus bow. Okay. Weapon of Crepus, who serves the two fingers from the shadows of the round table as the head confessor. Okay. Godskin apostles. Okay, interesting. I'm going to store that. I don't need the arrows, but I'll keep them just in case. So. Mm, 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 mm. Let's store these garbs, actually. I don't need these. Don't need that, don't need that. Blue cough vest. Definitely don't like that, so I'm gonna store it. Only need one set of gauntlets. Don't need two of each one. Exile Greaves. Warrior Greaves. Exile Greaves. So we're using Exile Greaves right now. But I already have one set. So I'm not going to use that. Store that too. And store one of these. Mercenary Trousers. I never read this item. So let's see what it says. Said to be Budding Horn, the ancestral followers believed that 
The horns of a long-lived beast continued to bud like antlers over and over again until one day the beast becomes an ancestral spirit. What does it do though? Oh, it raises focus. Alright, I think that's good enough. We can proceed here. Figure out what's going on. My guy's over here playing games. He's like, I'm across the river. You need me to cross the river. Can't target him. Maybe he's a good guy. Oh, what is this? Oh, these are skeletons. As such, I cannot fight them. They will just revive. That is the joy of a skeleton. To be a mariner? Oh, this is a boss? Word. Not what I was expecting. Oh, okay, there he is. Mushroom. Damn, that boy got hurt. little boss fight this is pretty unique actually it does kind of feel like the witches of Hemwick and Bloodborne but uh, <laughs> way more enemies but this guy's weak though so he's about to die oh let's not miss like that man say ride the wave with me. Fucking boat ain't shit. Get your game up, son. You go beat me in a boat. Crazy. Crazy. Got the wrong one. You death root skeletal militiaman ashes. Let's see what the death root does. I wish it would tell me what type of item it was so I could easily find it, but... <laughs> Beast clergyman seeks and devours these. A source that gives rise to those who live in death. The beast clergyman found that bestial sanctum in the distant East collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire plot, the, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree, sprouting in the form of death root. Okay, that's interesting. 
I don't know who the blind maiden is still. So looks like these are items that can be passed along to other characters that I have yet to meet. Whoa! Chill out, guys. Totally not cool. Totally not cool. Uh, let's leave them alone. Yeah, there ain't nothing else to do here. That was a quick little easy boss there. Quick a little easy boss there, we're good. Up we go. Actually the this yeah, up we go. We're gonna see what's up here. I don't see anything. Nope, I see nothing special. Only thing I see is that my horse can't jump as high as I thought he could. Yeah. So we journey across the land. And if we look forth, and if we look forth, things begin to rot. Welcome to Caleb. Huh, would not let me ride my horse. Invasion by. Harnished Eater Anastasia. Oh, hell no, crazy no. Let's go. Oh, ooh, ooh, she's a strong one. I like that move. I'm better. Sacred Square Charm. Let's check out the charms. Damn, where are they? There, there we go. Raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. A talisman carried by assassins who strike unseen. Patterned on a scorpion freshly shed of its exoskeleton. Its claws seizing a heart with a blessed glow. Cool. There's some grace in this church. Even though the church looks kind of ominous and whatnot. Smoldering Church. Nomadic Warrior Cookbook. Missionary Cookbook. Put me on game. Let's check this out here. Lord Godfrey, 
at last, at the end of his campaign, his golden armies unvanquished and unbowed, yet finds grace lost, tattered, and faded. Which way do we want to proceed here? That's the question. Is that an enemy? What is that? Is that a person? I can't tell what that is. Oh yeah, that's a person. He's a weak person, but he's a person, alright. Sorry for coming into y'all's lands like this. I am the problem here. I know. I know. Look at all these guys. They're just chilling. Taking it easy. Here I come. Being a nuisance. gonna go further oh we yeah, it pretty quick yo word that's a lot of people down here Switch weapons actually. Hold on, brother. You need to go fucking do that. Bad. Know your place. Hit these boys with the Raphael. That soul caliber. Hmm. I need healing. I have no ballistic or anything. I'm gonna have to wait that out. Poison pot. Poison, deadly poison. Hmm, how long does this take? Alleviates blood loss. So. Hmm, holy damage. Let's make a fire pot. But let's also make a fecal pot. That's what fecal matter there. <laughs> Coats armament inflicting blood loss. Coats armament inflicting fire damage. Throw at enemies for poison blood up. How close are we? Yeah, this shit is gonna last a while. I might as well just keep going. It does not appear that I have a means of getting up that high. Let's have somehow finesse my uh, travels up the horse. 
What the heck is this thing? Can't summon either of those. We'll summon the jellyfish in that case. We're gonna switch weapons here. Let's go. This is definitely a boss of some sort. Avatar of the Truth. Okay, so the jellyfish is no good here. <laughs> you can't, uh, you can't rot the rotten. Like you can't, you can't rot something that's already rotten. You know what I mean? I'm gonna switch weapons. Uh, we're gonna go with old boy here. What's up with all these jars? Still affecting me? Oh no. Two thousand years later. Okay. We might beat him here. We might do it. I got stomached. <laughs> I just need him to do one more like dumb attack. That's it. That's it. He's dead. Yes. Finally. Good grief, man. I did all that for a couple of things that I'm probably never going to use. One thing to note here, guys, is the uh, the rapier was my friend. I was trying to do this without a rapier. I was trying to do it with the great sword, but the great sword's swings were simply just—they were way too slow, and I would get hit well, like by certain stuff after. So, I could get way more DPS with the rapier, so it's much better. I'm leveling up, man. I need some strength. <laughs> I'm leveling up here. Well, actually, Dex seems to improve my damage for both weapons, but... 
Ooh, pardon me. I'm burping. Maybe I should improve my vigor or my endurance. It's hard to say, really. Uh, I'll do strength. That should be fine. Ooh, we finally beat that thing, man. And we are in some unknown place. Well, no, we're in Kalid. It's just, you know, I don't know where to go. There's some pointing down, there's some pointing up. Which way? Who knows? Guess it doesn't really matter, but we'll start back up here at these catacombs next time. Peace.